Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some clear and cool conditions out there this morning. We had lows in the 30s last night. We'll see temperatures warming into the upper 50s for today under mostly sunny skies. Looking at the conditions the last 24 hours across the Atlantic region, seeing below normal temperatures for this time of year, seeing the highs are in the 50s. Warmest locations were at Pax River, Richmond, and Norfolk at 58 degrees. Here at Wallace, we are 57. Last night, as I mentioned, we saw 30s for the overnight lows. Salisbury was the cool spot at 31 degrees. Baltimore at 32. Ocean City at 32. So some locations seeing that freezing mark last night. Here at Wallops, we saw a low of 35 degrees. One location staying in the 40s last night, the Tidewater at Norfolk. No precipitation across the region last 24 hours. As of 9 a.m., we are seeing temperatures rise back into the 40s. In general, the lower 40s, some locations seeing some upper 40s. Here at Wops, we saw 48 degrees under sunny skies as of 9 a.m. Looking at our sounding this morning, as of 12Z, we have a freezing level at 2,700 feet. Our winds out of the north at 11 knots at low levels, turning more northwesterly as we move in the mid levels, seeing 36 knots at 12,000 feet, and then seeing our peak wind this morning out of the west, northwest at 60 knots at 25,000 feet. Looking at our surface observations as well as our radar and infrared satellite, nothing on the radar, not going to see anything today as we'll have high pressure remaining in control, just some upper level cirrus cloudiness moving in from the west for the afternoon hours. <laughs> Seeing uh, temperatures warming in the 50s today, and we'll be continuing to uh, see those moderating temperatures we move into our Tuesday. Looking at our 12Z surface analysis this morning, we have high pressure in control going to slide off the coast for the afternoon hours. We'll have quick moving cold front moving towards the region today and then through the region tomorrow afternoon and the evening hours. It will be a dry cold front, just a wind shift and affecting some colder air in the region for our Wednesday. Looking at our prog charts for the next few days, here's our Monday midday planner. High pressure sliding off the coast, allowing for our winds to turn more southwesterly this afternoon. And then for our Monday night planner, we'll have more mild temperatures tonight, lows around 50 degrees here along the coastline, a little bit cooler inland. And then Tuesday AM planner will have this cold front starting to approach the region then move through during our Tuesday evening. That's going to provide us with uh, moderating conditions for our Tuesday afternoon, seeing temperatures in the upper 60s across the region for our highs with uh, westerly to southwesterly flow giving us a warm wind across the region before that cold front moves through. And then for our Wednesday afternoon, we'll see a large area of high pressure starting to build down from the Great Lakes, giving us cooler weather, uh, below normal temperatures once again for our Wednesday. And we'll start to see the formation of an area of low pressure along the Gulf Coast states that's going to move up into our region for Friday and through the weekend. That's going to provide us with uh, some unsettled conditions, especially Friday night into Saturday morning. Looking at our risk chart for today, we'll have a green chart across the board, so no chance of precipitation or lightning. Winds will be well under 25 knots, and we'll have VFR conditions throughout the day today. High around 57 degrees, winds out of the southwest at 8 to 13 knots this afternoon, and we'll continue a southwest wind at 7 to 12 knots during the overnight time period. Low around 50 degrees. As I mentioned, we'll have VFR conditions today, just some upper level cirrus clouds building in for the afternoon hours seeing a broken deck at 25,000 feet at 1600 local and then overnight we'll just see mostly clear skies. Our tides are currently normal and looking into Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday will be mostly sunny and partly cloudy and slightly breezy. It will be warmer with a high of 69 degrees. For Tuesday night we'll have partly cloudy skies and slightly breezy winds. A low of 46 degrees and for Wednesday we'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies, breezy conditions and cooler temperatures will have a high of 57 degrees and a yellow for our winds near 25 knots on Wednesday. Looking at our next seven days, we'll have the warmest for the next seven days on Tuesday at 69 degrees and then back in the 50s for Wednesday and Thursday and then we'll see a area low pressure starting to approach the region Friday night into Saturday. The exact track of that low will really have a big impact on our temperatures for Saturday and also for Friday. It looks like Friday should remain in the mid 50s with a good amount of cloud cover across the region as well as some easterly flow keeping those temperatures down. Saturday is uh, much more of a question mark with the temperatures 
as we'll have an area low pressure, as I mentioned, moving towards the region. Whether that area low pressure tracks over our area or just west of our area will really have a big impact on our temperature. Some models are putting out temperatures in the upper 60s to possibly lower 70s for Saturday after that system moves through. Other models are remaining in the 50s for Saturday, so we'll keep on monitoring it. I went with a 62 on Saturday as the uh, area low pressure will most likely move just east of our region, keeping us in the uh, cooler part of the storm uh, with temperatures in the 60s. And then Sunday, we're going to have a large upper level trough moving over the eastern portion of the United States uh, for the second half of the weekend and beginning of next week. It's going to provide us with below normal temperatures and uh, chance of some rain showers on Sunday afternoon with a high of 59 degrees. As for precipitation for Friday and Saturday, it looks like that area low pressure will be quite strong. There'll be some windy conditions with the onshore flow and some, uh, most likely some moderate to heavy rainfall as the system moves through Friday night and Saturday. We'll continue to monitor the uh, progress of or possibility of uh, nor'easter moving through on Friday and Saturday, but I hope everybody has a great day today. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m.